You rockin' with Lil Boy Diddy B, man. Voice of the U, Taco Talks TV. Taco Talks TV. There's nothing cool in Pull the pack out. Taco Talks TV. <laughs> Taco Talks TV. Taco Talks TV. Man, young Jose. Rest in peace to swiping YC. Taco Talks TV. But hell yeah, right before we get out of here, my nigga blew out, man. We're gonna get into the five random questions real <laughs> quick. You know, I can't really miss out. I've been trying to do better, you know what I'm saying? Get better random <laughs> questions. <laughs> Look, all right, now I got some cool joints today. What's something that comes with music, that comes with the music life that you ain't know about, you know what I'm saying, starting this shit? Um, shit. So, oh, I ain't know, like, the, like, the exposure for it. I ain't know, like, like, a lot of motherfuckers, like, like the um the actual fan like who the fan base like actually be for I ain't yeah. know it, it like be able to be like it'll really be like like motherfucker like like for me like motherfucker a lot of me on the shit on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas like, that you walking past you know, like, exactly you feel me? Yeah. You know, with the kids and all that like I ain't really know like what the fan base will be for real. Like, I ain't know like it, I ain't know it could get to that for real. Like I thought it'll only be like street niggas or something. Hell yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, respect. Exactly. I feel like uh, most times, like we don't even. Yeah. It's it's hard for like influencers or rappers or whoever you are. You got a fan base. Like most of the time, you ain't having like a concert or something. It's kind of hard to see the fans and shit. Cause I be yeah. seeing people that know me and shit, and I'm like, oh, I ain't even no niggas was tapped in like that. Shit, nah, but like you go like places like mall and all that shit like that. Shit, everybody be, but shit was like the young. Young people be for real, for real. Or, or you can say like the hip motherfuckers be you. You gonna see, you gonna see motherfuckers, motherfuckers come on to you start, you know, take their fuck with your shit, bitch, you know, or something. Fuck, you gonna be wanna take pictures and all that shit. Hell I don't know that I'm not mobbing all that in the mall, motherfuckers, you know, stop, you know, wanna take a picture with me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was gonna ask you that too, like, what was the weirdest experience of somebody being like, hey, boy, well, let's take a picture? Yeah. It was that one? Hell yeah. <laughs> my mother all looking like crazy. It's just like, my mother's like, damn. That's how I think that's my mother really saying, like, shit. Hell yeah. I'm actually really popping around. Nah, hell yeah. I'm proud of you on that one. Um, One more random question. What's the biggest mistake that you made in the streets? that you learn the most from in the streets. Pop his hands. Yeah. That shit wild as shit. You know? <laughs> I, like, I feel like that's when like the most crazy yeah. Fuck yeah, when I was all his hands, that's when the most crazy shit happened to me. Like ain't no way to Yeah, recently. You know, like the problem I'm saying show the nigga a lot, though I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Yeah. I had to fall back on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the last random question, I feel like when artists blow up, they stop cranking the way they was, like, they not really rapping about the same struggle they had when they was staying down, you know what I'm saying? Or even trying to come up. And do you think that that's a good thing or a bad thing? Or you probably change your flow when you glow up? No. Flow when they stop, you know what I'm saying? They get some fame, they get some money. They start rapping about a different shit that niggas who was your initial fan base probably can't even crank to for, well, not crank to, but like really relate to. If I get cranked, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't the same, you know what I'm saying? In the mud type shit. So, I just be trying to, like, I don't feel like every artist do that. Like, there's some artists that still, like, like, but it's a real mainstream artist, but like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, Future and Thug for the type of shit, like, they still be putting out that, that, that good shit. Yeah, they Thug. Be talking, they be talking about, like, Bigger shit though, like yeah. different like, lifestyles. Rich niggas, they on the whole different lifestyles, you know. So like, but they making that this shit like, you know, making that shit sound sweet, cause like as if it, as if it, uh, like they was in the streets or some shit. For yeah. Real. Like, they just showing you like the, the other side of the shit for real, for real. Like, uh, what the rap shit could do for real. Hell yeah. 
Hey man, that's all for today. Shout out my nigga Boo out. Cool ass interview, cool ass nigga. Uh, anything else you want to say? Shit, man. Hell yeah, rest in peace, baby. Y'all. Look at that slim walk, man. That shit's for everywhere. Slim walk about the man. Hell yeah, hey. Peace out, Girl Scout, Sweet Dreams, Designer Jane. See you around like a donut. Make sure you stay tuned to Taco Talks TV, Voice of the U.